Yo, what's up, my mullet sharp here, bringing you guys another video, and today we're playing some Clan v Clan. This is gonna be my last commentary before I go to the Call of Duty Championship of the world out in LA. Um, might see some of you guys out there. I don't know. I don't know if they they, they didn't sell passes. I think they gave some away. Uh, and I guess if you're like a guest of someone, then you could get in. But um, so I might see some of you guys out there, but. Yes, Call of Duty Championship is this weekend, and hopefully, you know, last year I was on Fear, we got fifth. Uh, went into the event with, like, little to no practice, really. It was kind of amazing that we got fifth. Um, I think the only pro team that we beat was the... I hate Search and Destroy so much. I was, like, muting my phone, running by, doing commentaries. This dude's just sitting in a corner with an AK-12. I haven't seen that... Oh, two AK-12s. I haven't seen that shit since... Damn. They're bringing it back. If you guys are wondering why AK-12 is not used in competitive, because that shit is oats. Oats Maganda on land. I remember, uh, I think that's one of the one of the reasons we had... Or not, not really... It, that, that was one of the reasons why it was good for us to go to that E-Bash land before Columbus, because it was the, like the first Search Black Ops 2... Or first Ghost, I wish it was Black Ops 2. First Ghost land... Uh, that that we that we went to and it was like before it was before Columbus so not a lot of pro, there wasn't even really any pro teams there it was us and then a pickup team with like Nameless and and, and some of them it's Nameless Saints Ricky and Solo uh, and it was good to go to that because we learned what guns were good on land what gun, what guns were bad uh, and and I used the AK-12 all the way up to the event online and I was like oh this gun is amazing it's like the AK-47 from COD 4 it's like a dude, this shit's a beast. And I go to land and I use it and I'm like, all right, this thing is, this thing is Maganda. Uh, but something I wanted to talk to you guys about in this video is you guys notice I'm using the Vector with the red dot. And the reason I want to talk about this is all you guys are like, when I'm streaming, you know, I do class setup video. Did I just see this guy? What? Zeus? Is that you? A lot of you guys, when I'm streaming, you guys are telling me to do I should do a class setup video and all this stuff. Um, and... I think class setup videos are just boring. I, I'm I get bored doing them, and I think they're just all around just a boring thing. Is this guy serious? What? Uh, corner. Um, they're just like they're just really boring. Uh, kind of maybe like this, but <laughs> the the class setup video is just me going through, and and I do it over and over again, time and time again. I should have just kept running. I thought he was gonna like jump out quicker than that. But I do it. I do them over and over again, and, and it's pretty much the same thing. Like my classes are the same. I figured in this video I would just talk about the guns that I'm probably, you know, the guns I'm going to be using at at COD Champs instead of you know, every single little class and every single little detail. Now after COD Champs, you know, if things go good, and I'm like, hey, this shit works. I'm, I'll, I'll probably let you guys know. But I don't want to put my classes out there uh, for pro teams to see. I'm just going to say, you know, the guns that I'm going to be using. And um, if you guys notice, I'm using the vector with the red dot, and a lot of the times online before I would use it with with no red dot uh, and this is where you know it would have been nice before regionals to have a land to go to and, and practice that because I went to regionals and for some reason without a red dot it was it's just Magunda like the aim the aimer is not that good like the, uh, for some reason you don't get that good at bullet registration I don't know why um, but it's just not that good of a gun and so I went to regionals and it was it was awful and, and it turned out that the the red dot vector with with the muzzle brake is actually really good so that that's something that that's something that you'll probably be seeing me use at champs. Uh, we were scrimming last night and, and playing league matches against Faze. We we played league against Faze. Actually, by the way, the league ended. Uh, I think we finished with the third seed in the league, uh, and then I think it, it goes Faze, Cole, us, Strictly Business, um, Curse LV, and then Envy. Envy got six. So uh, those are the six teams going, and the team the four teams that didn't make it: Optic, Curse New York, Curse. Youth and Justice. Those are the four teams that, that will not be attending PAX. PAX is actually in April, so that this is where the final or the the playoffs is going to be at. Um, so if you're there, I'll be there in Boston. Should be fun. Never been to a PAX East. Went to PAX West. Didn't really get to do much. I feel like we'll get to do more at this at this PAX event. But anyway, um, the gun the guns that you'll probably be seeing me use. I'm probably going to try this because yeah, you know, like I said, I played last night in league uh, and and playing scrims against Rise and. Rise the, the American the American team rise not, not the South African team, um, and it, it was like it, it was good. I was doing good. I was dropping like crazy numbers, and it, it, that might have been you know contributed to the fact that uh, we were also you know it's online and you know, online's hard to judge 
it's hard to gauge, you know, what's what's good and what's not. Like I said, with the AK-12, but uh, people used it on land, it was good. But we we also were playing on Gunjar's host against some primarily you know West Coast players, so I was getting really good bullet registration. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it works. Uh, I think that the UGC land that we went to, the pre land, was was huge for us. Uh, and I, I, honestly, I want to say our team. I think our team, like that land for us, was like the most beneficial thing that we could have done. Now I wish it would have been this week, going up to Kai Champs instead of you know last week because we, we we did it last week and we came home and we're just like fuck online, like we don't want to scrim online at all. Um, and I know that sounds crazy, like oh it's a million dollar tournament, you should want to scrim, but online scrims, like I said, are pointless. Shit that you do doesn't work. Uh, that's why that week at that land was was just amazing. Uh, especially, you know, I, I like Envy and TCM, they're doing a LAN, and, and Optic and Strictly Business are doing a LAN. Uh, I think it would have been better for them to invite another, maybe one more team or two more teams, to have, you know, have different teams there that, that play different. Uh, because, you know, if it was just us first Complexity the whole time, one, we'd just be learning what Complexity does, Complexity would be learning what, other, what we do, and uh, when we played next time, it would just be whoever whoever can... Whoever can just get the I don't know the the luckier shit maybe, but we we would know what each other does, but we we can we completely changed how we play. Oh, I just got triple teamed, but we completely changed up some of our strategies just from that land learning stuff. Uh, as far as you know, a team and we we uh. What's the best way to say? It's like we learn stuff that works, stuff that doesn't work, and we learned a new way, uh, uh, like a new play style that we found uh, that works out for us. But. It, and like I said, like say say Envy's playing his TCM. If Envy's just you know playing TCM over and over again, and they're like, oh, this shit works, you know that might work against TCM, but it it, it might not work against against other teams. Uh, and that's where like we went to the land, we played against like Complexity, and we're like, all right, this is all right. We played against Justice, and we're like, oh, um, all right, you know, we're losing to them. And then we played against Curse New York and we're losing them, and then we change something up, and then once we see that we beat Curse New York doing it, we beat Justice doing it, we beat Complexity doing it, we're like, alright, this is like the shit that we need to do. That's where I think having more teams on a land like that helps. Uh, on top of that, the land that we went to only had Complexity. Only Complexity is going to Kai Champs. We are playing against Justice and Curse New York. And, and on top of that, playing eights uh, against a bunch of players. But two of the teams that were there aren't going to be at Kai Champs, so it's not like you know we're playing them worrying about giving away strats and shit. So all in all, I think that was probably our best situation, the best type of practice that we could get. We did come on, we did come back online and say it's you know it's kind of pointless. You know, I, I feel like online practice, a lot of teams just overcorrect things that they don't need to correct, and that's why that's why online sucks. So lately, I mean, we've just been playing our league matches, and we have been, we did scrim online last night. Like I said, we played till like 1:30 or something. Played pretty late last night, but. Other than that, we've just been kind of chilling, playing our league matches, and uh, me and Gunjar have been doing a lot of 1v1s, which is what I'm going to upload while I'm at COD Champs. Um, I'm, I'm going to have those uploaded, and I'll make them public while I'm at COD Champs, kind of like I did with uh, when I was at UGC making like the Titanfall and all those videos public. Um, I'll probably do that while, I, while I'm at COD Champs. And the, the, I know the very first one that, that I uploaded was boring. That's because I was, I was just streaming, and I was bored, and I was like, hey, let's just do 1v1. Um, and later on we started talking trash, more trash to each other, and it's more entertaining. Uh, so, hopefully, all of you guys enjoy that. And as far as, as, as so back, back on top, I'm like just bouncing everywhere with this video. Uh, and I'm probably talking really fast, and it might be kind of annoying, I'm sorry. I'm like hyperactive right now, but, uh, we, the, the, so the guns that you're probably going to be seeing me using is, is the Vector, what? Zeus? Oh, he flanked me in green? Really? Yeah. Come on now. The guns that you're probably going to be seeing me use are the Vector with the red dot and muzzle brake. And then uh, the, the MTAR is just going to be my default you know, gun to go to. I, I really am enjoying the Vector online. Uh, it just depends on how I come out and, and play with it on land. And that's why another thing about, about the way Kyle Champs is going to be going is, is you know, the pool, the pool play... I would say us, Complexity, and maybe Xfinity have the hardest pools, uh, just because us and Complexity have those teams. Like you know, we're we're supposed to win our pool. It's like you know, it should be should be an easy 3-0 uh, for us. But we have we have teams in our pool that that can just come out and you know pull pull upsets. We have we have teams that can pull upsets. Like they ha they have the, the the good Canadian like the really good Canadian team, uh, and then we have like the pickup Canadian team with like uh, Nex and them on there. And we also have uh, Lightning Pandas, which you know has players like Epsilon Shane. So I mean, it's like it, they're good players. That's annoying. 
What is he doing, man? <clears throat> there, there's good players on, on our team, and then Complexity has... Uh, I'm trying to think of Cole's bragging, but they have they have like a good uh, yeah like I said a good Canadian team and uh, I think another decent European team and they, like we just have teams that can pull upsets as far as like the other other brackets go I think like most of the teams you know, Xfinity they have TCM in their bracket and um, I want to say another good European team oh, Mr. Wolf Mr. Wolf of Wall Street but uh, that that's where that's where pool play is, is like a good kind of like you get your you get your land jitters out of the way out like every team has their first game their first game jitters not not really jitters but like getting back into to the use of land uh for instance when i play online most of the time on most connections i have to i have to lead my shots so when when i go on land it's like i have to adjust to that and play as like i'm playing on land instead of playing online so uh, i think the way you know they're doing the full play Especially for me last year, it was a good way to do it because, wow, this guy is just God walking across the water with his son. Jesus. Oh, you didn't see him. Yeah, we lost. But the, the way that the pool play is working, it's like, you know, we play against teams that, that we're supposed to beat, so we kind of see those as like like warm-up games. Like, obviously, we're going to take them serious, but we see them as like kind of like warm-up games. Uh, I know it's kind of a bad thing to say, but it is like it's not like a regular event where you just get thrown into a match right away against... And, and there's like, even if you lose one game, there's like a chance you're not going to get thrown in the loser bracket. You still can win your other two. So, uh, like, like well, let's say regionals, for instance, ADV. Uh, yeah, we had the second seed. They had the, the 15th seed. And we're like, you know, we're, like, we're supposed to just dominate those dudes. And we go in. We didn't go in, like, take them, take them lightly. But it was like our first game is Formal's first game on land with us. You know, our, our first game is a team, us four. Uh, we go down 0-2 to them. Luckily, we brought it back 3-2. Uh, and then after that, we 3 0 the team after that. And we should have 3-0 trickle business, but I kind of played like shit Maganda, but it's it's just I don't know. That's just how it goes. But I hope you guys like this video. So remember that the vector with red dot and muzzle break, try that out. And then the MTAR with muzzle break and grip. And then sometimes in Blitz you might see me pull out an AR and, and like search and destroy you'll see me bring out the Remington with, with uh, grip and, and, and thermal and grip and red dot. So those are pretty much the guns you're going to be seeing me use. Be sure to give this video a like. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. We're almost at 49,000 I think. That's pretty cool. And as always, this is your boy Sharp. I'm out. I love you mullets. Peace.